in today's video we're gonna talk about the answer to a very important question and it is how much of this 4.6 trillion dollar opportunity can be in your pocket maybe Katzi Woods can help us answer this question right in front of me I have the 2021 edition of big ideas from ARK Invest Katzi Woods is gonna give us the answer we're gonna discuss about all that coming up after the intro What's up guys, this is JC and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. It is imperative that we learn how to manage our money because once we learn how to manage our money, we can take control of our true wealth, which is our time and our freedom. This is exactly why I created the Wealth Engineering School and this channel. We pay attention to stocks and crypto to find the best place to grow your portfolio. If this is something that interests you, I want you to smash the like button, subscribe and click the bell. To my subscribers, thank you for your support. And if you are new here, welcome to the wealth engineering community. I have interesting links in the description below to help you start on your financial education journey. If you want to learn how to invest or you have started investing in the last three years, make sure you check those links out. You don't want to miss on this. With that said, you came here for the truth. Let's just dive deep into this report. So this is a PDF that I managed to get from ARK Invest Insights. You actually, it is required to put your email before they give it to you, but there is no money required. And this is amazing because there used to be a time where to get information like this, you would have to put a lot of money. This is quality top market research. And I remember once I had to pay it for my own startup and I had to pay like four, like it was worth $5,000 for my own startups to get quality market research done by a professional. So to get something like this for free, this is amazing. This is a huge opportunity and make sure you check this out. You can learn a lot coming from this, especially on the nice trends that we're going to have in the next decade and where is the best place to invest. And that's a perfect segue to the subject we're talking today, which is digital wallets. Now, um, today, today's, and we're actually going to focus on cryptocurrencies. And by the end of this video, I'm going to show you a potential, an untapped potential that I believe has a great future and not many people are even taking advantage of it. So if you're watching this video so far, I would say smash the like button. You want to keep stay up to date on this. I'm going to drop a lot more video throughout the week and the next couple of weeks about this opportunity. But to help you understand this opportunity, first you need to understand the industry of digital wallets and who better can explain it to you than Cathy Woods, someone who really is a student of innovation, has been following innovation for the last 20 years, understand exactly the rate of growth and has an extensive research on the impact of technology and innovation in the economy. So, and I wanted to read a couple of sentence from her report saying that hey digital wallets represent 4.6 trillion dollar opportunity in your pocket now by digital wallets what she's actually referring to what's commonly available in the market right now like venmo cash app you can think of squares that would be part of a digital wallet as well and these platforms like square they can provide a way to buy cryptocurrencies but something like a venmo and cash app they're not necessarily there yet so these are like fintech financial technology startups and uh, they're very dominating this field right now now if you follow the rate of growth in, uh, in china who's the early adopters on digital wallets now right now they're actually generating more transaction on their digital wallet platform than the entire gdp of china and this is crazy when you compare that to seven years ago it was barely noticeable and now we're talking about 35 even 40 37 trillion dollars of mobile payment are done on digital wallets so when you look at these numbers this is definitely the trend this is definitely the future and take a look at this it's also going global it's a global phenomenon it's not just the us it's in canada as well it's in europe it's in asia definitely asia and especially in countries that do not have banks like the unbanks like the caribbean like africa these countries are desperate need of application like this of innovation like this and this is where most of the profit can be made now look at this in the u.s digital wallets users are surpassing the number of deposit account holders 
at the largest financial institution. Now, this is crazy. And you can look at this graph to understand what's going on, how long it takes them to acquire new customers. You can look into the cost of acquiring new customers compared to Cash App and Venmo. They, they're following like a hockey stick curves, like a, they're very viral in nature because I share it to my friend. I get some money as a referral link. My friend gets some money as a referral link. It's very easy to use. It's kind of like the social media of the financial world. And uh, it's very crazy. And think about it this way. Uh, what are the main three points that you need a bank for? I would say first point is to hold your money in a secure way. Second would be to pay your bills via the bank as a third party. And third would be to generate credit to find the bank can give you credit cards and you can have credit. So these are the main three things that you would need a bank for. But let's say you had a platform, a digital platform on your phone that allowed you to do all these three things without the need of a bank. So would it that be easier for you to manage versus actually going to banks and having to follow the credit score and, and everything? Well, this is the opportunity of in digital wallets because the digital wallets become the digital bank. Just to give you an idea, Nexo is a banking company and basically they're providing credits by you giving your cryptos as a collateral. And they, are very, they have very good interest rates Definitely better than what most banks are doing. You can read into this if you're interested. But uh, this is just one example of cryptocurrencies merging with the digital wallet trend, which is she did not expect, she did not talk about cryptocurrencies as a whole. And this is where I'm bringing the, uh, and this is what I'm adding to the information to show you the potential and how undervalued the cryptocurrency is right now. Because she's basically making an argument that Cash App and Venmo is currently very undervalued. That's what she's making as an argument. But if Cash App and Venmo, which is very popular in the US, is currently undervalued, what about cryptocurrencies? Well, if we're talking about $4.6 trillion in by 2025, and we know that cryptocurrencies and digital assets and digital currencies is going to be the future, then how much of that market can crypto can actually get? This is where the opportunity relies. And if you can understand this and you jump on it early and you sit, you wait for it to mature, you have an opportunity to get a lot of that money on your own pocket, especially with the rise of Bitcoin that we're seeing right now. We've got people like Elon Musk promoting Dogecoin, promoting uh, Bitcoin. They're getting cryptocurrencies into the masses, right? When you factor all this and you have a statement like this saying, according to ARK's research, if each of the estimated 230 million US digital wallet users were valued at $19,900 in 2025, the US digital wallet's opportunity would be worth $4.6 trillion. Now, the key word in all of this is us digital wallet users i know you're gonna say hey what about the money or what about the time no this is us digital wallet users i just showed you china transaction for a year and that was way above the gdp so when you factor global right when you factor global interaction these numbers can reach in the 50 trillion China alone already has 35 trillion, and this is today's dollar. We can even talking about 100 trillion market size. This is huge opportunity. This is crazy. This is huge opportunity, especially in this decade. Now the question is, what company can place itself in a way that they can get that advantage, they can get that market share on a global level? And this is where I wanted to talk to you about crypto.com first of all crypto.com is a genius marketing play on the cryptocurrencies we're gonna have a lot of people as a beginners they're gonna try to understand how crypto works what better way to get newcomers understand what cryptocurrency is with a simple website crypto.com this is where the genius of the marketing is owning that domain alone is a huge brand a huge power play and a nice way to position themselves on dominating this market moving forward crypto.com this is where people are going to go like it's kind of like a no-brainer 
Side note, I'm going to leave a link to this website. If you're interested to know how cryptocurrency works, Bitcoin explain everything you need to know about crypto just to get started. It's a very easy way, digestible consumption that you can go follow. And then uh, if you need more videos about that, let me know in the comment section or ask any questions. I'll do my best to answer you, but I'll leave a link of that. But basically, there will be a lot of newcomers into this market and cryptocurrencies can sound very intimidating. It can sound very complex, but you need an easy platform that allows people to buy and hold cryptocurrencies where they can earn an interest if they stick their cryptocurrencies or if they store lock down their currencies and earn an interest on that and this app does it all not only that you can also have an interact card paired with a visa and then you can earn cashbacks when you spend some of your money in cryptocurrencies now the cryptocurrencies is getting valued as at the same time and the reason why i'm saying this there's a lot there's a lot of companies that are doing this but this company was very early on and they're very specialized into their payment cards the platform is good and i've been testing it for a month i love it now it's available in canada it's available in the usa it's available in europe you can see that they they have positioned all of them they have positioned themselves all over the world to offer this service and it's great because they already positioning themselves to master and dominate the trend of digital wallets combining fiat dollars like US dollars and Canadian dollars with cryptocurrencies right and they offer you a platform where you can manage both and you can spend your money in both and we're talking about paying your bills as well. Well, you can use that to pay your cell phone bills. This is something I'm testing right now. Well, the, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Now, when we talk about a market size that can be $4.6 trillion just in the US, all right, that is expanding. This is a company that is based in Hong Kong, right, where China alone is $36 trillion market cap and payments online where they already master the digital wallet economy so we have a scenario where if you buy a share from this company hence a crypto from this company you position yourself to really dominate and then get some of that market share in your own pocket all right and i'm going to show you how i made the investment to acquire this indigo card right here that purple card right here it cost me about 2500 canadian dollars and i basically made thousands of dollars from this investment in a month all right in a month and that is because the entire cryptocurrency is pumping and this one is pumping as well my money is not lost my money is stake i can use it on my visa card to spend if i want to or i can keep it I can use the platform or transfer it to any other wallet that I want. So I'm going to make more videos about that if you want to learn more about this application, how you can use it, what strategies I'm using to buy and hold my cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'll make more videos about that. Let me know if you have more questions in the description as well. I'll make sure to tackle them on my next video. With that said, we'll talk on the next one.